Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every Wednesday. Also, don't mind my voice, I'm still sick, I still sound like a grotesque man, so please bear with me. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 2019 favorite beauty products of the year. If you're interested, definitely stay tuned, there's a blend of super affordable drugstore and high end, so keep watching if you want to know some of the best products of 2019. favorite makeup item that I'm sure you're gonna see in a bunch of these kinds of videos because this foundation did wonders and that is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation and the reason why I had to mention this foundation for one is because every single time I've tried a new high-end foundation I've always come back to this one because it's just so good and lately I have just been obsessing over it. It blends out really nice, it doesn't look cakey on the skin, it evens up the skin, it stays put all day, not too matte, not too dewy. This is such a great foundation regardless of the fact that it's drugstore, like this stands with some of the best high-end foundations. You guys need to try this if you haven't already. If you haven't, where have you been? My next favorite foundation that I have been loving this year is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Really, I have been loving to mix this with the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, and I also love using this by itself. What's beautiful about this foundation is that it's full coverage, but it's not too matte. It literally smooths out the skin, makes it look like butter, and it's crazy because the last place I would think to like look for a bomb foundation is Clinique. Like I feel like that's kind of where young girls go to start with makeup, but to find like a bomb full coverage foundation that sits beautifully on the skin, stays put all day, I just, I wasn't, Clinique kind of shook me. So if you guys haven't tried this foundation, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's bomb. Since we will continue on the topic of foundation, another favorite foundation of mine that I tried this year is the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime perfection foundation this foundation is beautiful however it is super expensive it's insane but what i love about this foundation is that it evens up the skin it's a gel like consistency so it almost gives a glow but since it's a gel base and doesn't feel like super oily or slimy it just like melts into the skin and you don't feel like anything is like sticky or sitting on top I do feel like this gives more of a satin finish and when my skin's too dry, I actually can't use this, which is weird, but it's super natural. It evens up the skin. It literally leaves like a blur finish to the skin, buildable coverage. And what I like about this is that you can build it up as much as possible. And since it is more of a thin liquidy consistency, it's not going to look cakey. The only downfall of this foundation is that I don't have it in my color. This one's a little bit too orange for me right now. And whenever I want, oh, oh, there goes the foundation. And whenever I want to wear it on my like no makeup days, I can't because it's too dark, but it's too expensive to get the right color. You see the dilemma here? So I'm like, should I get another one or should I just make one of my drugstore ones work? So since I guess we're on the topic of like face products, I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite powders this year. And that's the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I rediscovered this this year and I have been obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. Lately, I've been really into like really smooth, flawless skin that doesn't look cakey or heavy. And I feel like that's what this powder does. I'm able to bake with this without it looking too crepey under my eyes or too thick and heavy. It applies beautifully. It just blurs out any texture and it's not too matte, but it's not luminous. I cannot deal with a luminous powder because I have larger pores. My skin can be more oily. So if it has too much luminosity in it, it's just not gonna work for my skin. This is like the perfect blend. It's so good. All right, continuing on the topic of powders. These two powders I'm, I'm going to touch on. However, I don't use them for what their actual purpose is. And these are the MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powders, which I have talked about on my channel before. I do love this for setting all over the face. However, this year I discovered using them as like under eye highlight powders and bronzers. So I use the shade NC45 for bronzer. That's actually what I have on my skin today and in my crease. This works 
beautifully as a bronzer. It goes on so smooth, so even, not patchy. This tone too, I feel like works perfect for my skin tone, as well as for so many other skin tones. I use this color a lot on clients um, for bronzer, and I feel like it's just so versatile. So if you're looking for a good bronzer, definitely check out the Studio Fix Foundation Powder in the shade NC45, or any darker shade that will work for you. I used to be obsessed with the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, but this has taken its place, like this, works beautifully as a bronzer. And then to brighten up my under eyes, I love the shade C3. This I like to use after I like use a loose setting powder. I'll just take like my beauty sponge or like a dense concealer brush and just kind of pat it up against the sides of my nose, blend it out and up, and it just gives this instant brightening effect. You only need a little bit of it too to just give that brightness. It gives a little bit of extra cover coverage and it just like makes my dark circles completely erased. It's so beautiful under the eye, so you have to try it. I love this tone too, because it's like a peachy yellow tone, so it just works perfect for my skin tone. But I have loved this discovery. I almost forgot to mention my favorite all over face powder this year has been my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Before, I used to love using the Studio Fix Foundation Powder. I would use the color like C4 or NC42 to set all over my face. I swore by it, and then when I tried this powder, it changed the game. Like, I found myself grabbing for this powder more than my MAC one, and this powder was only five bucks. This just evens up the skin. It literally blurs any pores. It, like, is the perfect amount of matte without being too cakey, and, like, this is the one powder that I feel like really locks my foundation in place all day. Whenever I use a different powder beside this one to initially set my whole face, like, my makeup never wears the same. You guys need to try it. My favorite blush this year has been my MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty. I have been using this for years now, but I especially became obsessed with it this year, and I have used it pretty much every single day. I also use this on so many clients, and it's surprising how many skin tone it complements. It's such a bright, intimidating pink, but when you put it on the cheek, it just gives the perfect flush. I have talked about this in, I think it was like my Janelle starter kit video. I had to shout at it again because I haven't put it down like at all. It's not going anywhere. I do have it on right now. And as you can see on my cheek, it doesn't look as like bright as it looks in the pan. It just like gives this perfect blush. Another product that I haven't put down this year and I literally use every single day, and it is my MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlight Palette. I love this one. This is the pinky one. I used to own the gold one. I still have it, but ever since I got these tones, I put that one away, and I just feel like these are so pretty and versatile. I like that I have like a dark peachy shade, the super light color, and like a medium champagne color. I'll mix these together and use it to highlight my cheek or I'll just use like the really bright one to highlight my inner corner. I grab for this every day and I feel like no other highlight powder um, or palette that I own gives the same effect, especially for my inner corner. I remember the other day I was like in a rush and I tried to use my Charlotte Tilbury highlight powder to highlight my inner corner, but it just didn't give the same pop that this palette gives, especially this tone. For highlighting the inner corner and down the bridge of your nose, it just, it just gives this perfect amount of like intensity without being too bright. I also love it on the cheek because it melts in, it's not sparkly, it's not too beaming, but it is beaming at the same time. It's just such a beautiful formula. So if you guys haven't tried the MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlight Palette, you need to, do not sleep on these. These are so good. So continuing on with face, but it's just not like makeup related. My favorite skincare product this year or skincare discovery has been Chemical Peels. My favorite one is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. This stuff has changed my skincare game. It has changed the way even like my makeup applies just by properly taking care of my skin. This has 30% AHA and 2% BHA, which are chemical exfoliants that just take off that top layer of dead skin. This has helped me a lot with texture, shrinking my pores, helping with blackheads. It has made such a difference. And I find that whenever I use this, the next day when I do my makeup, my makeup just goes on so beautifully. If you're looking for a good chemical exfoliant, definitely check this one out by The Ordinary. It's only like $7. Let's move on to some eye products. 
I've already mentioned this, but I'm gonna mention it again because I love it. And it is the Artist Couture Diamond Bronze Diamond Lights Finisher. This eyeshadow is beautiful. If I could just take one eyeshadow with me and only use it for the rest of my life, it'd be this one. I have it on my eye right now. And I literally initially had it on by itself and it just looks so pretty. I just blend it up in my crease with my finger. I did end up adding a little bit of my Max Studio Fix NC45 foundation powder in my crease. Color is just out of this world. My favorite way to apply it is with my finger and then I'll spray my finger with Fix Plus. This swatch won't even do it justice. Like it's just so beautiful. It has such fine sparkles in it. This is perfect for the kind of person that wants to kind of dive into like glitters and stuff, but you don't want to go all the way. You want something more like modest, something that'll just give a soft shimmer to the eye without being overpowering. That's exactly what this is. And this color is just, all right. So on the topic of eye products, I have discovered some of like my go-to makeup palettes this year. So I quickly want to dive into that. The first palette that I fell in love with this year and like I didn't put down for the longest when I got it was my Morphe Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. Before I got this palette, the only palette that I would religiously use was my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And then when this came, it was just like a new friend to play with. It was so much fun. The pigmentation in here is beautiful. The array of colors is beautiful. The palette is perfect for somebody getting into makeup, somebody that wants to play with color, but they don't want something too overwhelming. It is just such, such a perfect palette. And so perfect for any makeup artist too. The quality of these shadows are amazing. That love affair kind of, not didn't dwindle, but then I found a new friend when the Tati palette launched. I did not put this palette down for like the first three weeks that I owned it. Like I was obsessed. I was so obsessed to the point where I hit pan on one of the shadows within one week. Like how does that happen? But this palette is so perfect if you just want a go-to palette with neutral tones that are gonna be the best quality ever. These are so pigmented, so rich. The matte colors in here blend out beautifully. I love these like fun shimmers here. These glitters, you do not need a glitter glue to apply them. Sequin, that whole like formula of eyeshadow, I'm obsessed. It's like a matte with a soft sparkle in it. So you can wear it every day, but still have that fun little pop of something. This this palette is perfect. You need it. You need it. It's good. And it's funny because another one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes is my Natasha Denona palette. Why did I just hit myself with this palette? Um, these shadows in here blend amazing, but to be honest, the Tati palette is kind of like hand in hand, and this is a fraction of the price. So I already revealed it. My next favorite palette that I have not put down since I got it is my Natasha Denona gold palette. Alex got me this for my birthday, so it was, wasn't until the end of this year that I discovered it. I've only been using it for the past like a month and a half, but you can see it has been loved. And it's crazy too because the second that I applied these shadows, I understood why it was so expensive. Like they blended out just so perfectly and easily. I'm obsessed too with like the glitter topper colors that come in this palette. It's just so pretty. And these are the tones that I love. So I feel like it's good to have one really, really good palette that has your like go-to colors to where you know whenever you use that with your go-to shades, they're gonna blend beautifully. They're gonna work beautifully together. You're gonna create the perfect eyeshadow look. It's crazy too, because after using this palette and especially the Tati palette as well, getting so used to the formula of these shadows and how just amazing the quality is, whenever I grab for like a cheaper palette, like say a ColourPop palette that I used to love, I'll use it and it will work good, but it just doesn't work as good as these. So it just kind of like changes your mindset of like the quality of other palettes that you used to love. You kind of see them differently because you get spoiled with like the formula and how bomb these shadows are. My favorite setting spray discovery this year was my Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. This is bomb for locking your makeup in place all day, keeping it on. 
It, this is also only like $8, but I swear it's like hairspray for your face. Never purchase another Urban Decay All Nighter spray because this works just as good. So this year I did try out a lot of new lashes. I tried Lily lashes. I tried drugstore lashes. I also tried a ton of Amazon lashes and I have a ton of favorites. And I do have an Amazon shop that you guys can shop that I list all of my favorite Amazon lashes. However, my favorite Amazon lashes of all time this year for dramatic looks have got to be these from Amazon. I will link them down below. These 3D mink lashes, they're only $9 and they come with a pack of two, but you can just see how like fluttery they are and full. Whenever I wear these, people are like, hey, you're wearing the Lily Miami lashes? I'm like, no girl, $9. Amazon, it comes with a pack of two and the lash applicator, which I should probably take out because I could really use that. So yeah, if you're looking for a pair of bomb lashes that are super fluttery, dramatic, but not overpowering, definitely get these, they're so good. Last but not least, I do have two favorite hairstyling tools that I have discovered this year and that have changed the game for me. The first one is my Amazon Extra Long Curling Barrel. I did talk about this in my favorite Amazon products. This is by the brand Pro Beauty Tools and it was literally only like 30 bucks. It's so good. The barrel is 22 inches long and it's a one inch or one and a half inch barrel, I can't remember. I will link it down below. But this has changed my life. Ever since my hair has grown longer, it's been so frustrating when I'll use a regular curling wand and my hair doesn't fit around the barrel. It just takes so much longer to curl the hair and then I'll have to like rack my hair around twice and the curls come all weird. But this has made it so quick and easy to curl my hair like, and it just saves so much time it makes it so much easier so affordable so you guys should definitely check this out if you have really long hair or if you wear hair extensions this will save you so much time and then another favorite hair product of this year my sister actually gifted to me and it is the laange hair it's like a brush straightener so basically it has like a heated plate in the back and then like a regular brush what I love about this is that I'm able to get a really nice blowout look with my hair without using a blow dryer and my hair isn't too flat like with a flat iron. I feel like I hate my hair straight. I hate it when it's like pin straight. It makes my head look even bigger than it already is and then I'm awful at blow drying my hair like I'm just not good at it. And how I use it is I'll just like take a piece of hair and when I'll like brush it through and then kind of just like swoop it as I go. And that ends up giving me a ton of like volume and lift with my hair. I'm able to like twist the bottoms with it to get a lot of like wave. So if you guys wanna see a video on how I straighten my hair with this, definitely let me know. But you guys should definitely check this out. If you want straight hair, you want the look of like a blowout almost, but you're not good at blow drying it, but you hate a flat iron. All right, you guys, so that wraps it up for my favorite beauty products of this year. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found some things that you may wanna check out or try out. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. Give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And I think that's it. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.